so and good. did you know why restaurants always charge extra to add guac to your dish? Why? It's because there's a huge fluctuation in price and they generally have to throw away half of their purchase. Spoilage is a big deal. Mm. If you've ever bought an avocado, you know it doesn't last long. Mm. It gets bad fast. Yeah. They lose money if they don't charge. And so we want to learn how to make the perfect guacamole so this stuff doesn't go to waste. Joining us now, food blogger Suzanne Clark, big friend of the show, to teach us the best ingredients to put in your dip. Where do we start? Well, we're going to start with avocados. How about that? That's a that? great place to start. <laughs> yep. So I have a bowl right here, and I have mashed four medium size avocados, just about that size. Okay. And you know, if you're having a hard time getting your avocados to ripen, Put them in a, a brown paper bag. I heard that trick with a, with a banana because all with the, the banana. Yeah, the banana, the enzymes in the banana can help ripen your fruit. Oh my gosh, oh, just yeah. a little it's tip enough. there for okay, you. So what are we putting? Okay, in? Okay, so first of all, we have our avocado. Now let's kind of build some flavor. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some red onion. Love okay, it. I'm just going to put in there. And you want to make sure you finely dice it. You don't want a big piece of onion. Right. Then I love to put tomatoes in it. It just adds such a nice freshness to it. So I'm going to add about a third of a cup of um, tomatoes. Okay. And I like to use the cherry tomatoes. That's I think they have wondering. more flavor to them. I a little too. sweetness to them. At least. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Easier to dice like a real as well, tomato. right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, just kind of, and you want to get, again, a smaller dice. Do you okay. say tomatoes or tomatoes? Just ignore um, me. Let's Just call this all off. I say tomatoes, <laughs> it depends what I'm making, but today I'm going to say tomatoes. <laughs> so then I'm going to add some fresh cilantro. I love the fresh cilantro in here. That's important. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people don't put that in there, but I love it. Yes. Now I have an unusual ingredient. Kind of unusual. Ooh. I'm going to use pickled jalapenos. Now oh, most people use a fresh one, but. You know, I have a friend that was born and raised in Mexico, and her mama did it this way. My so. mouth is watering so much. I can <laughs> I'm not going to argue with mama. I always do what mama says. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> oh, that camera. smells cool so, so good. So we're just going to kind of mix this up, and then we also want to add some lime juice. Okay. Okay. How much? And fresh lime juice, about two tablespoons. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to stir this in here. And then, do you like to add salt or no? I. Definitely add salt. Definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much about a teaspoon, but you know okay. what? It does really vary. I think it depends on how ripe to the taste. avocados. Do it to taste, you know, but as a guideline, you're gonna roughly go in with at least a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. And now if you want to serve it up, I have a couple fun ideas here. Um, you know, they have these little dipper. Yes. Cups right now. Mm -hmm. So if you cute. pre if you pre plate this and have them all, you know, the guacamole sitting in those little chip cups, people love that. And now. But then how am I going to double dip? Uh, well, you can't that's double good. dip. See, we, we, we <laughs> put the double in there for you. All right, fair enough. But now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm yeah. Gonna add bacon because oh everybody bacon loves bacon. Oh, yeah. So Fine. I'm just going to add a little bacon to these cups just to make it kind of like a little. I put some bacon on my possum the other day and it tasted delicious. I'm sorry. Where on can your people... possum? I'm Susan, just saying, where can people find more info from you? Because I know you guys have you have a blog. We yes, I up. have it my, on my website. Okay. It's Living a Creative Life with Suzanne Clark. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to dive into this stuff yes. in just a minute. If you want to oh. buy some guac today, you're in luck. Chipotle Mexican Grill. Ever heard of it? Offering free guacamole with an online purchase of an entree. Use the code avocado, which means you're going to have to spell it right. So maybe throw it into Google first. <laughs> it is limited to one per person. It excludes kid meals. Oh. All right, Vanessa, 